Ladies and gents, welcome back to another video. Today we've got a package and I don't remember what's inside. You guys will know what this is based on the thumbnail, but it's pretty light. I'm expecting this to be either an iPhone or an iPod of sorts. Let's get it opened up and see what we've got. Okay, so as I just slam this thing into the table, but I think that's okay because look how dirty and damaged this thing is down here at the bottom. I don't think this is where I hit it on the table. Can't imagine it did that much damage, but either way, we've got ourselves an iPhone 5S here. This thing is filthy. Let me give this a little bit of a clean before we try to turn it on. Okay, so I think I actually spoke a little too soon. This device cleaned up very nicely. This is the gold color. I don't know if you guys can tell that in the light, but this is definitely gold. The front display looks to be in very nice condition. Let's see how it looks here in the light. A few bits of dust there, maybe some very small scratches. Nothing significant. We do have a few scuff marks around the edges of the device. The back is very clean as well. We do have a couple stickers that I'm gonna get off here in just a minute. But the iPhone powered on, and as you can see, we're met with slide to unlock, and we have the iOS 7 wallpaper. Let's see if we do actually have iOS 7, and we do. We've got the passbook icon with three rows instead of four, and of course we have the red-orange music icon. Let's head into settings, click on general, and go into about. You can see we're running iOS 7.0.4. That's a pretty early version of iOS 7, and that means there's a chance we have the very rare slide to power off logo right there, and we do. I don't remember when this was removed, but it was replaced with the round slide to power off that I think we still have to this day. Someone leave me a comment down below which version of iOS this older squared off slide to power off was removed. All right, so I think we have a 16 gigabyte. Yes, we do. Hopefully no iCloud account on this phone and we are good to go there. Super clean device. Let's go ahead and test out that fingerprint reader. Of course, this was the first iPhone to feature a fingerprint reader. And actually, as far as I'm aware, I think it was the first phone in the world to have a fingerprint reader. Someone correct me if I'm wrong there, but let's see what happens if we can get a fingerprint. Yes, we can. So. That's good enough for me. That means it's working and the display has not been replaced. That is very refreshing. This is a super clean device. It looks gorgeous. The iPhone 5S launched in 2013, came in three colors. We had gold, space gray, and then there was a white color just like this. This is obviously an iPhone 5, but you get the idea. It was the first iPhone to come in three different colors and it was the first iPhone to feature Touch ID as well as the first iPhone to feature a 64-bit processor. It was actually the first phone in the world to have a 64-bit processor. And at the time, that really wasn't very important. But it changed the game of mobile computing. And this phone was incredibly powerful. And it performed very well and would get lots of iOS updates throughout the years. This thing started on iOS 7 and it would get 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So pretty good run for this device. It was the last of the small flagship iPhones from Apple. The iPhone 6 and 6 Plus released the following year, be quite a bit larger than this device. And at the time, this thing was competing against the Samsung Galaxy and the Galaxy Note, which those devices were quite a bit bigger. Here we have a Google Pixel. This is from 2015, I think. So just a few years newer than this, but this is the size that the phones this thing was competing against at the time. Something else to point out, we do get a dual flash up here for the first time. iPhones now have quad flashes, but this was an upgrade over the single flash there found on the iPhone 5. The iPhone 5S also has the capability of recording slow motion video. So if we head into the camera application, you can see we do have photo. Of course, we got video and then new to the 5S is slow motion. So this records 120 FPS video 
and you could edit and play back in slow motion. Of course, that dual core A7 with its 64-bit processing really helped performance for this device. iOS 7, of course, was a complete overhaul of the iOS and it looks pretty good. Lots of new features, multitasking was changed. We added control center, all of the applications got an overhaul, not only on the icons, but also inside of their respective applications. It was a huge change for the iPhone and the iPad with iOS 7. Here on this iPhone 5S, it is very nice to see an iOS 7 run so smooth. I don't think I'm recording this video in 60 FPS, and I apologize for that, but just know that these animations are buttery smooth here on this iPhone 5S. There we've got the flash on the back. Not as bright as some of the newer phones, but still very respectable at its time. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed taking a look here at an iPhone 5S running iOS 7. We've actually got another one there, posted this video a few days ago. But thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, I look forward to seeing you in another one of my videos.